Collaboration is at the heart of this year's China Africa Environment Forum, where scientists and policymakers are pooling their expertise to find greener path forward. The event, organized by the United Nations Human Settlements Program, Tongji University, and Shanghai Environment Group, aims to establish predictive models for climate change and the future evolution of water resources, as well as measures for river restoration applicable to Africa. I think this is、uh, in a very particular context because we just completed,、uh, you know, the broader consultation between China and Africa,、uh, bringing more than 50 heads of state、uh, in Beijing to discuss the partnership between Africa and China. So, which means that、uh, this forum today on environment、uh, is quite timely, and to see how best we can foster this partnership, South-South cooperation between China and Africa. The forum also focuses on sharing practices in waste management, taking into account the individual conditions in selected cities in Africa and China. Shanghai, in waste management, should say that over the last ten years, especially after the Communist Party took power, should say that Shanghai has achieved leapfrog development in waste management over the decades, especially since the reform and opening up. Now we are arriving at the stage of zero waste city. I think not only in Africa, but also in all countries and cities around the world, we can find cases that can be used for reference. Drawing from Shanghai's experience, we. We've gone through the process from landfilling to incineration, and now to resource utilization and comprehensive utilization. All these cases can serve as a reference for developing countries. The 所有的这些案例都可以供发展中的朋友们、发展中的国家予以借鉴 I would like to highlight a couple of areas. So first is on marine pollution. So here, there's a global treaty on plastics that's currently being negotiated. The final meeting will take place in Busan in Korea、uh, later this November. So the COPC countries, the seven plus two, nine countries,、uh, including China, have been very active on this whole plastics discussion, marine pollution. The second area is on marine biodiversity. Um, and here you probably heard about the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework that was negotiated and successfully adopted at the end of、uh, 2022 December. We mentioned in cooperation in green cities and clean energy, experience is also shared and evaluated. Maybe the city planning and the energy issue is the most important. Besides this, as we work in university. For China, I think the higher education is very successful. For example, in Tongji University, we have the innovation park around the campus. We can create new technology and transfer to the local community or other city, other industry. Specifically, the conference looks at research on water resource utilization efficiency in different regions of Africa to explore techniques and practices for improving water resource utilization rates applicable to these areas. In the past years, we have a lot of、uh, case studies、uh, for the cooperation between China and Africa in the field of、uh, environmental protection,、uh, specifically in water resource management and.、Uh, Uh, water and wastewater treatment. For example, here in Tongji, we focus more on water and wastewater tra-、uh, treatment. For example, we have established a drinking water treatment demonstration project in、uh, Nairobi, in, in in Kenya, and also we have another demonstration project for、uh, wastewater treatment in Kisumu,、uh, also in Kenya.、Uh, I think after we、uh, finish those projects, we have. Not only、uh, protect the water environment uh, and uh, reduce the、uh, pollutants discharged to the、uh, Lake Victoria, but also we improve the water quality for for the drinking water, and we protect the safety and the health of the local people.
in, in Kenya. Africa indeed boasts unique natural resources. However, we've also noticed that it's one of the most sensitive regions to climate change in many areas. We hope that in the future, China and Africa can work together in the environmental field, especially in addressing environmental challenges, such as clean energy and green development. Through experience exchanges, technical support, and information sharing, we can collaborate and make progress together. Experts in the conference believe there is an urgent need to decouple waste generation from economic growth and move towards a zero waste and circular economy approach. Many waste treatment technologies, including mechanical, biological, and thermal, are available in Africa. The systematic and reasonable overall improvement plans are also proposed to improve the efficiency and safety of water use in African cities. Looking ahead, it focuses on carrying out water conservation and emission reduction efforts targeting some major industries with severe pollution issues. Wang Hao, CGTN.